On September 15th, a video of an unidentified flying object that crashed in Stavropol, Russia, around 350 kilometers or 220 miles from the Ukrainian border, went viral on the internet. The Russian media reports initially led people to believe it was a Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV. Later, Twitter users noted similarities between the wreckage and the Russian Kinzhal missile. A Twitter user going by the handle Lot A shared a video of the incident, which happened on September 14th. According to the user, the unidentified object was a Russian Kinzhal missile. If anyone wondered what crashed today in Russian Stavropol region, injuring six firefighters, you'd be very much surprised to know it wasn't a Ukrainian UAV, but a Russian Kinzhal missile, he tweeted. The missile was allegedly fired from a MiG-31 aircraft in the direction of Ukraine, but it's thought to have failed and crash-landed in Russia's territory. In this video, Defense Updates reports on the Russian hypersonic Kinzhal missile falling on its territory after being fired from a MiG-31 combat jet. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Twitter users pointed to the resemblance between the object's wreckage and the Russian Kinzhal missile, particularly the winglets and the booster's separation mechanism. Lot A alleged that the missile's booster or nozzle's aerodynamic cover didn't separate from the missile when it was released from the carrier, which suggests that the main engine didn't ignite. The fact that a booster was found on the debris suggests that the missile either misfired or was accidentally dropped by its carrier aircraft, Aerotime reported. OSINT Technical, an open-source user, shared the thread and noted that in the last six months, Russia has hit Ukraine with three KH-47M2 Kinzhal hypersonic missiles and itself with one. Rescue personnel arrived at the crash site and tried to put out the flames. The explosion hurt six people, including four locals and one firefighter. According to Vladimir Vladimirov, the governor of the Stavropol territory, a firefighter was injured while working at the scene. He added, he's been hospitalized and is being treated by paramedics. President Vladimir Putin announced the system in an annual State of the Nation address in 2018. The Kinzhal was among several latest generation strategic weapons that Putin said at the time could overcome any U.S. missile defenses. Russia used the Kinzhal missile for the first time in Ukraine in March. Combat use of Kinzhal in Ukraine marked the beginning of the hypersonic weapons era. A weapon is designated to be hypersonic if it can travel at speeds beyond Mach 5. Hypersonic weapons combine the high speed of a traditional ballistic missile with the maneuverability of a cruise missile, making them almost unstoppable with the currently available air defense systems. There are several methods being applied to make hypersonic platforms, which include using scramjet engine, boost glide vehicle, and ALBM, or air-launched ballistic missile. Kinzhal is an ALBM. Kinzhal has a range of approximately 2,000 kilometers or 1,250 miles when launched from a MiG-31, but can reach 3,000 kilometers or around 1,865 miles when fired from a Tu-22 M3 bomber. The Kinzhal goes ballistic seconds after it's been launched from an aircraft, unlike cruise missiles. It reportedly has a top speed of more than 10 times the speed of sound. It's thought to be a variant of the ground-launched Iskander-M short-range ballistic missile. Kinzhal's first stage is probably shared with Iskander, and the guidance section is specifically designed for this missile. Kinzhal is also reported to be nuclear-capable and able to hit the ground as well as naval targets. It has a terrain matching sensor as well as an active radar seeker and is thought to be powered by a solid propellant rocket. It can carry a warhead of 500 kilograms or around 1,100 pounds. As per Russian claims, Kinzhal is capable of making rapid course correction or otherwise flying erratically. This coupled with the weapon's speed makes it almost impossible to track and intercept. 
As per unconfirmed reports, the Russian Air Force has formed an aviation squadron with 10 to 12 MiG 31Ks. The combination of Kinzhal and MiG 31K is lethal since it could be launched from unpredictable locations and its target envelope is very large. But what about reliability? In May, three U.S. officials with knowledge of intelligence on the issue told Reuters that Russian precision-guided missiles are failing up to 60% of the time in Ukraine. That's a massive number. The failure rate of 20% is considered high. Kinzhal is not the only high-profile missile that suffered a failure like this. For example, it was reported that on the 20th of May, Russian troops launched a caliber missile strike on the Odessa region using aircraft. The missile, costing $6.5 million, failed to hit any important Ukrainian asset. Instead, it destroyed a beach toilet in the south of the region. The Ukrainian specialists found several U.S. origin chips manufactured by AMD, Texas Instruments, Pantsir Air Defense System. Pantsir Missile System is a family of self-propelled, medium-range surface-to-air missile and anti-aircraft artillery systems. Starting with the Pantsir S-1 as the first version, it's produced by KBP Instrument Design Bureau of Tula, Russia, and is the successor of the Tunguska M-1. Similarly, there were more than 30 U.S.-made ships in the KH-101 cruise missile, including those manufactured by Cypress Semiconductor and Maxim Integrated. KH-101 is a conventional air-launched cruise missile ALCM, that can fly at low, terrain-hugging altitudes to avoid radar systems. With sanctions, Russia will find it hard to build more, so every misfire will hurt. Kinzhal is also a very costly missile and especially designed to knock out high-value targets. Given the situation, it's not hard to see that Russia has a problem in its hands which has to be rectified as soon as technically possible. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.